because you don't know the character of God, it becomes difficult for you to trust God. And no matter how many times people tell you to trust Him, no matter how many sermons you hear about trusting Him, no matter how much encouragement you get that says, just trust God, just trust God, it is difficult for you to trust Him because you don't know Him. When you change your thoughts, you change your life. This is Thoughts That Count with Poloko. Do you ever struggle with trusting God? Listen, if you are a normal person, if you are anything like me or any of the millions of other believers, you would admit that at some point it is hard to trust God. I've struggled with trusting God for seasons of my life. Even today, there are times when I struggle to trust God. And sometimes I sit and I wonder, why is it that I am struggling to trust God? God. So I want to help you understand why it is that you are struggling to trust God. I want to help you understand those seasons of your life where you struggle to trust Him. Or perhaps you might be saying, it. listen, it's a consistent thing. It's not even a seasonal thing. I, I just struggle to trust Him, period. I want to help you understand. I want to try to help you understand why it is that you struggle to trust God. When it comes to trusting anyone, you understand that if you were in a room full of people, the person that you would trust the least is the one that you know the least. You understand what I'm saying? The, the person that you struggle to trust in a room full of people is the one that you know the least. And the person that you trust the most is most likely the one that you know best. If I travel to a place where I'm going to be speaking to a crowd of people and I need one person to hold my phone or to hold something that is valuable to me, I will ask the person who came with me, the person that I have known for longer than I've known anyone else in the room. You struggle to trust God because you don't know God. You don't know God. And when I say you don't know God, I don't mean you don't know his name. I mean you don't know his character. Because you don't know the character of God, it becomes difficult for you to trust God. And no matter how many times people tell you to trust him, no matter how many sermons you hear about trusting him, no matter how much encouragement you get that says, just trust God, just trust God, it is difficult for you to trust him because you don't know him. You don't know him. And the only way that I can begin to trust him is if I get to know him, if I get to know his character. If you were in a room where there are 10 other people and your spouse, the person that you would trust the most is your spouse because you know your spouse intimately. You know them more than anyone else. You know their character better than anyone else. And if you should struggle to trust anyone, anyone that you struggle to trust, anyone that you do not trust with anything, you don't trust them because you know their character and you know that their character is faulty. They're not to be trusted. So my question to you is, could it be that you know God and you know his character, but you're still struggling to trust him? I doubt it. I doubt it because to know God is to trust God. Once I come to know him, I just cannot help but trust him. He's trustworthy. Everything about him. Once I come to know God and I know his character, I know that he keeps his word. I know that his promises are true. I know that he is a shepherd. He takes care of his people. I know that he makes promises such as do not worry about tomorrow. I know that he is a provider. I know that he is a healer. I know that as the Bible says, that he fulfills every single promise that he makes. And so it is, it is easier for me to trust him. So I'm suggesting to you that you don't trust God or you struggle to trust God because you don't know God. If you knew God, you would be able to trust him. Because to know him is to trust him. You think about the example such as Psalms 23. We all know Psalms 23. We can recite it. You can recite it perhaps even in your home language if it is not in English, right? It says, the Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. And if I come to know him as a shepherd truly, 
If I come to know his character as a shepherd, that he is a good shepherd, a faithful shepherd. If I come to know him as one who will not allow me to go astray, it is easier for me to trust him. I want to make another point to you, which is you struggle to wait on him because you struggle to trust him. Many of us can admit to the fact that sometimes we feel like God is taking too long. Sometimes we get frustrated. We get anxious in our waiting. So I want to suggest to you that when it comes to your waiting, it is because you don't trust him. And secondly, it is because you hardly ever speak to him. You don't hear from God. And I know that the topic of hearing from God is a bit of a complicated one because you might be asking yourself, well, do I hear him in a dream? Do, you, do I hear a voice that just speaks audibly? Is it the small, still voice in my head? I don't know. You know, I had some thoughts earlier. Was that God? I don't know what's happening. You will know when God is speaking to you because you know the character of God. When you know the character of God, you know what is not from him and you know what is from him i'll give you an example if i was waiting for you at a restaurant if you and i were supposed to meet and i arrive at the restaurant before you when i arrive there you need to be talking to me i need to know what time to expect you and if i arrive there and have no way of talking to you If I arrive there and your phone is off and I can't reach you, I begin to get a little anxious because I don't know if you are on your way. I don't know if you are coming. I don't know if you forgot. And I get anxious. But when I know every single move you make, when you leave the house, you call me and say, I'm about to leave the house. When you're 10 minutes away, you call and say, I'm 10 minutes away. I'm five minutes away. I just parked. I'm on my way up to you. I become comfortable. I learn how to be peaceful. Because I know that you are on your way. I've been speaking to you. I've been speaking to you. I've got your word. And so I'm suggesting to you that perhaps the reason why you do not trust God, you don't trust that he will show up. You don't trust that he will do what he said he will do. Because you don't know him. You don't know his character. And you don't speak to him. So as soon as you you start learning how to speak to God, you'll begin to trust him a little more. But most importantly, you will not speak to him unless you know his character. Get to know his character. I did this for myself when I was when I was 18 years old. I was lost and I didn't know where I was going, what I would do with my life. And I picked up a Bible. I went and bought myself a Bible with the little money that I had and I started to read it. I started to feel like I, I, I know God. I started to feel a lot more comfortable with saying things like, God, I trust you with my life. I trust you with my future. I'm a bit clueless right now, but I know that if I trust you, you will lead me and guide me in the path that I should go. And I've trusted him ever since. But you have to know God. If you're you're struggling to trust God, get to know God. When you change your thoughts, you change your life. This is Thoughts That Count with Poloko.